Chapter 420 Hey, what's going on? What's with the noise? Mr. Hale shuddered in shock when he heard the voice. He turned around and said respectfully, Don Stephen, are you done with your hot springs? How is it? Good, Stephen answered indifferently and then asked, What are you doing there? Stephen said this while walking towards the parking with his men. Oh, it's just some pathetic jerk hitting Mr. Joey. I was about to avenge him. The kid isn't very capable but is very skittish. Clutching his stomach, Ethan greeted, Hi, Uncle Robert, long time no see. Stephen looked at him and laughed. Oh, it's you, Ethan. Hey, what's wrong with your charisma? How can you be beaten in Oris Hill? You put your father's reputation to shame. Stephen and Ethan's father were quite close, so Ethan could be considered his nephew. He spoke rather directly and in an elderly manner. Ethan didn't dare to talk back to Stephen, so he said sheepishly, Uncle Robert, I bumped into some miserable jerk. I'll let him know the price of hitting me later. Stephen snorted. Ha ha. I'm curious to see who's bold enough to hit you. Stephen walked forward, pushed aside the guards, and looked at the crowd. He stumbled upon Alex, who was looking emotionless. Alex looked back at Stephen and said with a coy smile, Stephen, you're quite nosy, huh? Cold sweat immediately appeared on Stephen's forehead. Never did he expect that it was Master Anderson who was being surrounded by the guards. At this crucial moment, he secretly rejoiced that he didn't say anything excessive earlier. If he were to accidentally anger Master Anderson, he would be dragged into the misery as well. Last time, he was given the magical elixir thanks to Master Anderson's generosity. Then, he had already expressed his utmost loyalty to Master Anderson. He would forever be his servant till the day he died. He nearly screwed himself this time. It was so close. Stephen bowed respectfully and said, Master Anderson, I didn't know you were here. Everyone was dumbstruck upon the shocking scene. The infamous Don Stephen was so respectful and gracious to a pathetic jerk. What was happening? It was so fucking weird. Alex pointed at the young man and asked faintly, Do you know this kid? Stephen was not a fool. He knew that Ethan must have offended Master Anderson. Regardless of his friendship with his father, Stephen marched forward, slapped Ethan hard on his face, then sent him to collapse to the floor. Then, Stephen grabbed his hair and slammed his head against the concrete floor. With a loud thump, Ethan heard ringing in his ear. He was dizzy and disoriented. Resisting the severe pain, Ethan asked, Uncle Robert, why, why did you hit me? Stephen glared at him and slammed directly onto Ethan's head. How dare you offend Master Anderson? You have a death wish, don't you?